Excellent. Right, that, that, that's me behind me. Um, good, good evening, everyone. My name's uh, Peter. I've come all the way from Birmingham. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it is fantastic, and it, it's uh, lovely to be here. I'm, I'm, my, my talk is about improve, improving teaching and learning through trying to capture the hearts and minds of staff, but I'm going to give you a bit of kind of a, a background. I didn't want to mention anything political. However, I, I've only been in teaching uh, for seven years, um, and that's largely because most kind of children, when they rebel against their parents, do things like, you know, maybe dabble in a bit of recreational drugs or shoplift. Myself, having been dragged on many C&D marches, and my mother would be delighted to see me stood next to the Guardian um, here today, I actually uh, joined West Midlands Police um, <laughs> as my rebelling phase. Um, after a few years in the police, uh, I managed to actually gravitate my way. I come from a family of teachers, basically, and, and everyone is teachers in my family. And I managed to gravitate my way towards the law department and train the new recruits. And I realised I really actually quite like teaching. Um, and then in, uh, in 2003, at the very end there, I saw an advert for kind of like the fast track programme, which now I realise is kind of future leaders. And I know we've got to talk kind of later. And I want to talk a bit about that programme and my kind of experiences, which has led me to where I am today. I've worked, in, I've worked in four uh, different inner city kind of Birmingham schools. Uh, I've gone from kind of my first school was kind of very, very low down on the kind of uh, exam results and satisfactory rating and et cetera, and, and managed to play a part in that and, and go forward to, to get good. I've worked in, that, that's Mosley School, which looks like Hogwarts, but actually it's nothing like that. Uh, and, uh, and I'm very fortunate to work there. And what I want to talk about is my current role. Um, in April 2012, I was appointed Assistant Vice Principal for Teaching and Learning at Q3 Academy. And, and I really want to share my kind of learning from that because it, I don't think any of my kind of fast track programme really has kind of like prepared me for this in a way. And I'm learning every day and, it, and, and I look out at kind of the audience here and, I, and, 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 and I, I'm still learning and I'm making mistakes every day. And I want to just share kind of my, my light bulb moment that has happened really since, since April. So as you can see there, we're a school with 77% English and maths. Okay, grading. Unfortunately, for the past seven years, we've had value added or contextual value added below the, you know, the gold thousand threshold, uh, etc. And that is kind of my real challenge on joining the academy. It's a lovely kind of building. It's full of some great, absolutely wonderful children, some wonderful staff as well. And as I said, my, my, my presentation is all about changing the hearts and minds. And, and when I got there, my interview was all about, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and here's my teaching plan. It's going to be wonderful and we'll change things. And in reality, I've kind of hit a bit of a brick wall. Okay, that I can do. I can do as many kind of strategies as you like. And we had John Simpson from Tribal come and. Um, it's a fantastic work in the academy with money. We get all these people in all the time. And I've come from inner city Birmingham schools with no money. And then suddenly this academy where we've got money, and he came in and said, "Yeah, you've got loads of strategies. It's wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic." But actually, this is the real thing, and this is the thing that that I'm struggling with, to be honest with you. But I'm going to show. I'm going to talk about very briefly some of the strategies. In, t in order to try and to change the mindset of a lot of our staff that is there, to kind of to show them the right way and to help us ultimately improve teaching and learning. And um, the first thing is, and I, I know TLCs, there's kind of there's a national model on that. I, I came and I found a teaching and learning group that was really exclusive and, and basically was all the best teachers in the, in the school and no one else could join. And so I've immediately kind of like scrapped that. And we, we've even got kind of non-teachers joining us on that. And that's been a real kind of like energy and a real kind of motivator for staff. And they're actually, what's lovely, although I feel in my control freak kind of way a bit sad at the moment, they're actually meeting this evening without me and doing hatching various plots. So whatever will happen, I don't know when I go back. But using that as a kind of driver, we, we, we didn't exclude any middle leaders, but I kind of had a conversation and said, I don't really want you there. And so it's mainly our teachers in kind of post NQ to RQT up to about five years in. And they've been a real driver with kind of like implementing stuff and, and, and being a positive voice. We've, uh, we've moved our staff training um, sessions around and we have hubs now. And, and we, we have like a gifted and talented hub and a sixth form hub and, and various things. But, but the real key for that for me is we, we invited and we got all of our non-teaching staff, which number about 80, to join these hubs. So we have them in, in with talking about, you know, raising teaching learning for the gifted and talented and, and working with sixth form, which is quite, which is quite an eye-opener, actually. And I really kind of value their, their voice as well. Um, we, we've done things like trying to kind of like corporatise the, their, their kind of planning 
Um, and so, and so we've, we've created our own kind of teacher planner. Uh, they actually fell off the back of a lorry from Romania, I think, for £5 or something. Um, but we, we've done that. And what's been really interesting, we do a Monday morning briefing, and, but we make sure all the kind of like handouts kind of readily fit in and they're hole punch four times and, and all that. And that's, that, that's been a real kind of like, I, I think, an important step because we've also given these, these kind of planning folders to our year sevens as well. And so we're walking around and everyone's kind of looking the same. Um, the Teach Meet format without the fruit machine, um, we, we introduced that on a Wednesday morning and in departmental times we have, we have a kind of sharing of good practice at 8.40 for five minutes um, and, and we, we have a Monday morning whole staff one and then we just have a, a, little, a little kind of five minute one which again is, is really producing some, some excellent kind of like dialogue and some really good sharing of good practice. Um, and, and for me, the key was, I mean, I, I was very fortunate. I managed to book Paul Guinness and he came and did an inset session. He's coming to do a day with us. And, and I, really, I really liked his idea of capturing, you know, the, the planning bug and really wanting to get, to get lesson design as something we're talking about in the staff room, on the corridors, you know, and talking about with, with teachers and non-teachers and pupils as well. Some of our pupil uh, voice kind of surveys recently have talked about some of these techniques that we've been using, uh, particularly from there, and, and using this really as the starting point for getting lesson design, as something we're talking about. And the, yeah, the, the coloured slides there, we, we've kind of identified kind of staff to give, to give SLT support on a, on a certain kind of basis and really intensively using our SLT and also our middle leaders. And I noticed the comment about middle leaders, um, we, we've implemented them coming on learning walks with us as well, which is, which is fantastic, yeah, and, and a really kind of worthwhile use. Um, and the kind of the last bit as well, which, which has been really beneficial for us, we, we've managed to join forces with a, a local teaching school, which is an outstanding school. We're a satisfactory school. And we've created a bit of a bespoke programme and we picked six, six members of staff, all of whom five years in service uh, across various departments. And we've kind of bought in the expertise. I'm just about to finish. We brought in the, the expertise from them to work with, with them on a really bespoke coaching programme. I think that's been really beneficial. Um, and that's me. Thank you. That's done.